Hey there everybody, Cody here again, exploring some more Nexfest stuff. So this one is uh, Dungeon Drafters. We got main menu, tutorial. Ooh, there's multiple classes? Oh no. Ooh, Bard seems cool. Oh, Shinobi. We're probably gonna go Shinobi. Let's look at all of them though. So we got the Mage. The Mage goes headstrong into battle with the power of Raider cards and the flexibility of Oracle cards. Interesting. No, yeah, Headstrong makes sense for mages. They're normally like a glass cannon. Brawler rocks, bold and in-your-face raider, and warden deck centered around melee attacks. Ooh, the monk looks cool. He's like an owl. That's dope. I love that. The monk controls the flow of battle with puzzling and introspective warden and oracle deck. Oh, man, so he's like a more control-based. Ooh, I love control-based stuff. I like to think I'm smart when I'm not, so... We got the bard, like a fairy it looks like, or a fae. The bard strolls through challenges using her mobile and minion heavy deck that mixes traveler and orc. Ooh, so she's a summoner. Ah. We'll do shinobi last because I'm just going to pick shinobi. <laughs> so, Ooh, the explorer. It's, a f uh, it's like a little chonky rabbit. Oh, I love it. Okay, the explorer has a survivalist theme, warden, and traveler deck getting through battles with mobility and safety. And the Agile Shinobi storms the battlefield with Fast and Furious, Traveler, and Raider. Okay. Yeah, let's do Shinobi. Ooh, excuse me. Try to cut out that burp if I can. This book. Ooh, I love the little the ear animation. Okay, so we move with Wasad. Okay. Press the direction against a unit, exclude a melee attack. It works both outside and inside of combat. Okay. Can I attack the tree? All right, I'm back. Should I even say that? Maybe I should cut that out. Hmm. Oh, anyways, my my kid forgot to. He made a like a flower in a ceramics class or art class, and was giving it to me. So looks pretty sweet. All right, so anyways, so that's how we move. So this is clearly a wall. All right, cool. All right, actions in combat. So move, melee attack, and cast a card and enter. Okay, so we have melee attack and card cast. Okay, spicy. Just press the direction, okay. Z button. Click a card, okay, to end turn before. Hold the cancel button or click the end of turn button in the AP bar, okay. Executing most actions will spend AP. When your AP reaches zero, your turn will end. All right. Ooh, so each character has their own player start? Oh, I love it. All right, so I can shoot an ice ball, inflicts two damage, disease two, and places ice on floor as it travels, okay. That pulls the caster to the impact point, then attack any unit at the impact point. Ooh. Long Fang. Okay. What does uh, initiative mean? Okay, that's what I've figured would happen, but... And in theory, I should be out of range for all their attacks. And then we just move away. Okay. 
Interesting. Nothing personnel, kid. Alright, that was cool. That was weird, I guess because the card had recast, I could cast it again. Ooh, I love the sound effects. Alright. Seems pretty sweet. Okay, combat flows. Yeah, the neutral turn. Then after all units execute their turns, combat will complete a round. Okay. Player will act first, then reach... Each ally of the player will act in order from closest to the player to the farthest. Okay, during enemy turns, enemies will act in an order defined by their distance to the player at the start of the round. Okay, that's going to be important to remember. Hopefully I do. Neutrals will follow the same turn order logic. You can press overview tab to check the... Okay, cool. So I can jump here, and then here, right? Let me just move back. How long does the gold stay on the floor? So I should be able to move here and then push target, two damage to it and anything it collides with, right? Yeah, and if we didn't have that, we could also use long fling, right? All right, so that's combat, okay. That's pretty satisfying. What's this thing? Health fruit. Okay, so if I was damaged, I would have healed. Okay, love the art style. Love the little movement animation. Interesting, it keeps the AP going in the bottom. That's a really big uh, stack of cards there. That's way bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Yep, so effects. <laughs> Gotta have those. Okay. These are very varied conditions that persist for many turns. It can be either positive buffs or negative buffs. Okay. When the player is affected by an effect, I should say they will draw an effect since I'm clearly a girl right now. Draw an effect card. The effect card has its own rules. When did I say girl? It that doesn't matter. Anyways, the effect card has its own rules and describes how that effect works on the player. As an effect card is a card, it can be cast with any other card. When the player casts all cards of that same effect, they will remove that effect from them. When you find cards that inflict effects, try to experiment with them on your in with them on enemies and yourself. The results might be really useful on your adventures. Okay. Whoa, what is that? I love the art on this card here. Jump to target position, inflict three damage. Exactly midway between them. So what's ice do? Not in love with the fact that I can't click on that. 
Will it slide me across? Ooh, cool, okay. I had to see what it did. We can heal anyway, so even if they do attack us, we're fine. And then I think we just save the cards here. And it... All right, cool. I gotta say, I'm loving the cards so far. The cards have been uh, very interesting. Okay, can't destroy those, all right. I imagine when you're actually in the game, you can, like it's a branching path, like it's not one room to another room, you know? Ooh, complex actions that are very precise and difficult to avoid. Okay. You can expect any enemy to check their actions by hovering the mouse on their position. Okay. Kind of been doing that already, so that's cool. Click on an enemy during its turn to check its actions in more depth. This will draw a danger zone of tiles that enemy may attack during this turn. Okay. Yep. Thanks, game. Okay, so... Oh, I'm stupid. Don't think I want to teleport there, right? Because that would... Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, I expected it to deal damage. Hmm. Maybe it had an ability that I needed to look at. Man, that looks so cool. So we just move down, right? And then we're safe. So that would be one, two, right? That's two moves there. Because you can't move diagonally. I'll just stay here and let him come to me. It's kind of boring, unfortunately, but it's the safest play. I love that. I know I said it once, but I love that the artwork for that. Okay. Hey, I actually got some gold. Or shards. Since that's what we're called. That's what they call them. Alright. What is this? Like a treasure room? A pu like a puzzle room or something? Okay, got a gemstone, golden, don't know what that means. You gonna tell me what these do, or? Okay, so this heals me, this shuffles, the, this shuffles my discard back into the deck, okay. Current spoils. Okay, shards of gems with a speck of mana. Most shops and adventurers will accept it as currency. Okay. Their latent mana has no useful application, so it became the standard currency in the world. Oh, okay. A little bit of world building there. A pure gemstone brimming with mana. Its power can be used for many things, so it's incredibly valuable. Oh, okay. All right, I like that. The mana contained in this gemstone can be used to print Powerful cards or carve new runes. What are runes? We don't know what runes are, do we? Booster pack thought to be a sign of good fortune. Guaranteed many rare drops. Uh, okay. I, do, I love the little world building that they're putting on the details there. All the little touches in this are very nice. Love all the card art so far. Yeah, this seems like something I'm most likely going to play offline. I might, I might even stream it, actually. Be a good stream game. Okay, to theorize that lucky packs are simple starter packs that absorb centuries of mana from its surrounding. Oh, wow. <laughs> the recommended booster. Golden pack of fortune. <laughs> the starter pack of aus auspice? I don't... 
I don't know what that word means because I'm a dumb person. Yeah. Aus auspice? Auspice, I believe is how it said. A divine or prof prophetic token. Oh, okay. Makes sense. The recommended booster pack for aspiring drafters, often basic, simple cards. Turners are the ones who rejected by the stone after death. It's a custom for undying to go adventuring on behalf of their people to receive this booster as a rite of passage. Okay. All right. That's cool. I love that. Ooh, counters and death throws. Okay, some enemies will counter whenever they are attacked. These actions always happens in response to damage or sometimes... Okay, so no matter what, even if you kill them, you can get countered, it sounds like. Other enemies will take your death throw when they are killed by damage. This last action done before they die. Learning how to best exploit or avoid enemy counters and death throws is paramount to survival. Yep. So strategize accordingly and keep track of enemy's quirks. Ooh, I love it. Okay, so in theory... So he only does one damage, so I think I can move here, right? And then I'll just attack this guy whenever he shows up. Okay. And then we can just fire circle y'all. Yeah, because if I move, it's too many actions. Ooh. Kill. Okay, so you can get... Uh, so it's got a kill effect. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. And is the mic picking up my keyboard sounds? Oh, got our first big healthy boy here. Jump to target position. So I can't hit him. But I can do that. And that kills him, right? Because it's three damage. And then he'll shoot over there. And then I think I like all my cards, so I think we keep them. We'll just double attack. Perfect. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing and nothing. Okay. Still gotta break the barrels though, it's too satisfying. Okay, what do we got? So he's got two health. Oh, a petrified monster. I'm safe. I think we just push him away, right? Yeah, get at it. Get out of here. I'm walking here. I don't know why I said that. I thought it was funny. Ooh, so he summons a beetle. Okay, he's still in his range. So... I mean, might as well, right? Wait, what? Hmm. It 
little confused as to why I didn't kill the dragon, but maybe that's its ability is it is it comes back to life or something? I wonder if I would have hit the petrified monster in combat if that would have done something. Ooh, a treasure room. I'll return to Adventurer's Town, sure. Not, not anything else we can do. Ooh. Oh man, there's so many cards and stuff. Oh man. Oh man, I love this. The background is so like 90s RPGs for me, like 8-bit, 16-bit RPGs, which is such a vibe. Oh, I love it. All right, well, I've been Cody. I appreciate you watching. 